Fellow adult collectors, welcome back. David Eon here with another virtual video vintage toy fair catalog tour. This time taking a look at the 1976 Knickerbocker toy fair catalog. And this is a very charming catalog actually. Taking a look at a toy company that is long gone that many people have forgotten about and many young collectors never knew existed and they probably are not aware of many of the properties which themselves have faded away into obscurity ever existed and this particular catalog is in fantastic shape for the age it is I mean you can see how just clean and perfect it is and that's a wraparound cover as you can tell just open that up for you here they went through a lot of effort built a little train for these two kids to ride in and it also helps demonstrate just how big some of these plushes are and there are toys and dolls and plushes and that's plushies however you want to say it and that's primarily what Knickerbocker did as we start to get into this and right off the bat there's Holly Hobby and that is a very popular once upon a time a very popular toy line that has sort of faded away into obscurity largest doll here being 33 inches in a display box can you imagine a doll that big in a display box and like I said this is a property that is no longer being used you don't see Holly Hobby anymore and it is a vintage toy line you can probably pick up very cheap if you're interested in Holly Hobby at all because there isn't much interest in them anymore unfortunately and again the size ranges here are from nine and a half inches to 33 on all of these nine and a half 16 27 and 33 inches amazing and they're again charming it's a charming piece of toy history, everything associated with Knickerbocker. And here's something a lot of people, a lot of hobbyists are not aware even existed, and that is the Holly Hobby action figures. I'll give you a little bit of a close up on these and the packaging. I like that they demonstrate the packaging here. They also did Raggedy Ann and Andy like this and my wife has a set of the carded Raggedy Ann and Andy action figures from this time period and these are difficult to come by mint on the card in any kind of halfway decent condition and here you see a better representation of the I guess you could call it a doll or an action figure they are vinyl and their little accessories. Very nice. And there's a play set here. And again, some more figures, which are roughly six inches tall. Raggedy Ann and Andy, which time has forgotten. Bob's Merrill, of course, the original property holder. And Raggedy Ann and Andy were popular forever. They were popular for so many decades. And Knickerbocker fell into obscurity, and I believe Hasbro picked it up, and then applause, and then you only rarely saw it in places like the Hallmark store something like that and these are really really large size ranges on these go from 15 and a half inches to six feet the largest one is six feet although it's not here that's the bottom one Raggedy Ann six feet not illustrated and that is a cat that is Dusty sticking her nose into my business hello Dusty you're, you can't walk on the catalog, sweetheart. We're going to have to move you. I'm sorry, folks. Come here, baby. 
anyways, <laughs> these, the 13 and 14, are, I believe, 45 inch varieties, 45 inch, 38 and a half, but there is a six foot one, can you imagine a six foot Knickerbocker, Raggedy Ann and Andy Doll, LPH would love that, I think, LPH is a fan, of course, of Raggedy Ann and Andy, and does have a small collection of them. I like this. I like how they demonstrate these, and these are the smaller variety rag dolls. I like it when a toy company takes the time to, in their catalogs, show you how it's going to compact. And Raggedy Ann and Andy, except for the rarest ones, are a toy company, a doll, that you can pick up fairly inexpensive. And here you have a musical mobile for the crib. A tote bag with a doll and here's Betsy Clark Betsy Clark dolls and then sunbonnet babies who remembers the sunbonnets I don't remember these very well and again box demonstrated but these look very familiar to me on the bottom row here those I remember seeing these, not so much. And there's another look at the Betsy Clark. Am I sparking any memories for you guys? The kittens are tussling behind me on the carpet. That's what that noise is in the background. And here's one that should spark some memories because you used to see these in the Sears catalogs. The NFL Little Pro, and it was just a, a goofy looking baby doll here and it would have a select team uniform and helmet. And I know there are a couple of collectors out there looking for little pros. Fluffy stuff. Elephants, monkeys, bears, and dogs, a zoo full of animals that are made for snuggling day and night. And these are ranging from 16 to 21 inches in size and here's some more variety there's your elephants and your monkeys and the bears and this style does look very familiar does this spark any memories for you folks did you have something like this or do you remember seeing these in the stores and novelty stuff and again these look very familiar to me in particular the Casey Jones bears which are of course these the Casey Jones bear and Casey Jones dogs the engineer looking plushes there in the upper left look very familiar to me the bear hug wants to look familiar as well Lots of nostalgia there, guys. And I'm sure you can find these fairly inexpensive as well. This, uh, what, slicker dog, jogging turtle, dressed frog, and Kong Fu, in case you wanted to look any of these up. Novelty stuff, again, this looks very familiar. As does the turtle, the bonnet turtle looks very familiar to me that really stands out which is what I love about some of these catalogs is that you can see something and you're like damn I remember that which is really why I do these catalog tours and softies which is just more intellectual property just generic sort of bears and other stuffed animals and this range is up to 23 inches, it says. And then up here, which that mouse kind of wants to look familiar to me as well. Got some koalas and bears, and there's that mouse. That mouse seems familiar to me. It doesn't tell you specifically who it is, though. 9060 Miniature Plush Assortment mice 
I suppose if I looked up Knickerbocker Mouse, I'd probably find it. Animal characters. Well, there's your Smokey the Bear, and I've seen this doll several times. Smokey the Bear, Flipper, Curious George, who goes up to, what, 24 inches for the largest one. And then Wombles, who they really don't look that familiar to me. Wombles. And you know who that is, Scooby-Doo, and of course, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom, Tom's body looks very wonky there. He's <laughs> in a big uh, gap. Maybe he was riding a horse. And I'm sure you hear the pitter-patter of many little cat feet as they run back and forth behind me there. Special treat. Here's the salesman's chart in the middle of this book. Musical characters. So you wind them up and they play music, I guess is the idea. Musical cuddle assortment, 11 and a half inches. This one wants to look familiar. And then these down here. Again, I use the term charming. And here's a demonstration of the packaging. So it can be made available for say countertop distribution and then we get into another one of their big licensed properties and I will show you this here in a moment that is of course Sesame Street and we are fans of this as well this is my Sesame Street as they would say the 70s slash early very early 80s Sesame Street pre Elmo Sesame Street is the one that I remember fondly after Elmo, I think it just got terrible, but LPH as well, and LPH does collect some of this stuff. Largest one here being 27 and a half inches and then 24 and a half for the Ernie. And I've seen these and they come in a really tall window box. It's really impressive. I'll go ahead and take a look at the next page or turn to the next page here. And I'll open this sheet up for you really quickly. This is the salesman's order sheet Knickerbocker Toy Company Incorporated 1976 price list and order form and I'll go ahead and I'll just close up on that a little bit here for a moment so that you can uh, if you wanted to still shot that and take a look at how much some of this stuff cost it says minimum opening order $750 minimum reorder 300 no returns will be accepted without written authorization <laughs> and this was a chart that was used because this guy marked off on zeros it says off sale items and I, I love this because it adds a lot to the history and you can see how much the salesman would have had to pay for a box of these assorted toys and dolls and plushies. How much did they cost? It's an important piece of the of the toy history, I believe. Like I said, just give you a moment to really if you wanted to screenshot that real quick and take a look. Not very expensive. Then again, it was 1976. Back to our page. And this is page 28. Oscar the Grouch, Cookie Monster. And Oscar, the largest one here, is 27 inches. Wow. Grover and Snuppelophagus. Again, the early days of Sesame Street. And then this, the preschool. Here's your Big Bird's Mystery Bank, where Big Bird will flip a coin. You press his tail and he throws the coin into the nest. That is clever. That looks really cool. 
and the Sesame Street Cross Country Playset, which LPH is just drooling over. She saw this in the catalog and she's like, oh my God. And believe it or not, this stuff is very rare. All of these Sesame Street items are very difficult to find, even though they don't sell for a lot because rare does not always equate to value, but still difficult to find nevertheless. And they are plush. These are little plush dolls, although it looks like uh, Big Bird has vinyl legs and, and a vinyl beak, but the rest of them is essentially a stuffed animal. And here is the Enterprise Express, the train set that comes with little figures. And then the On Our Way play set, little gas station and a motorcycle with sidecar. And then the people in the neighborhood, little truck assortment. And I believe LPH has a couple of these uh, in the boxes. I know for a fact she's got that one. Muppet blocks, puzzle blocks, stacking blocks. And this is a demonstration of the packaging. Now you can flip them around every which possible way and mix them up. And then talking assortment, ranging 13 and a half to 16 inches. And they would very likely then be pull string talkers. It says they say six different things each. And guys, that is the end of the catalog. This is not a very long catalog. It was short, as you saw there, 35 pages of vintage goodness. And again, I'll use the term, yes, I think this catalog is very charming and it's an interesting look into the toy history Knickerbocker, a company that most modern collectors have probably never heard of, showing you some properties that no longer exist. There is no more Holly Hobby. There is no more Raggedy Ann and Andy. And again, these are properties that were around for decades, especially Raggedy Ann and Andy. They were around forever, and they've just kind of been forgotten. They've been forgotten, faded away into obscurity, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed our little trip down memory lane. I don't do these catalog tours as often as I should. I have a lot of catalogs. And the people who see these videos seem to really appreciate them. And I hope that you do. I hope that you got something out of it. Let me know. Did you see something in there that sparked a memory? Do you have any of this stuff? Is there something you saw that you're like, hey, I remember that? Or something that you saw that you said, hey, I would really like to own that. I'd like to go and look for it. Tell me about it in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again.